Hello friends, welcome to House of Apps English. In this video, I'm going to show you two ways to transfer money from YONO SBI application to any other bank account. I'm going to guide you through each and every step. But before that, if you're new to the channel, please don't forget to subscribe. Let's start the video. Now, the very first thing you have to do is just simply open YONO SBI application in your mobile phone, enter the M pin and complete the login process. Once the application is completely started, on the home screen, you just have to select YONO pay option over here. And on the next page, you get two options for transferring money. One is quick transfer, another one is bank transfer. Now, these are the two ways of transferring money from YONO SBI to any other bank account. For example, uh, if you are not going to do frequent transaction with that person, it's just a one-time transaction, then in that case, you can just simply select quick transfer. You don't need to add beneficiary over here. You can just uh, enter the bank details and you can do the transaction. For example, if that person's account is in SBI, select SBI. If that person's account is in other bank, then select other bank. Enter the bank details over here. If you go down, you need to enter the amount. Go to the next page and just complete the transaction. So this is quick transfer. If you want to do one-time uh, one time transaction, select quick transfer option over here. But if you want to do frequent transaction, like if you are doing a monthly transaction with that particular uh, person or that particular account, then in that case, you can add a beneficiary account and Later on, you just have to select, uh, you know, beneficiary over here. Like I have already added a beneficiary account over here. If I'm doing a frequent transaction with this particular account, all I have to do is just simply uh, I need to select bank transfer over here. Uh, in other account, I'm going to select that particular account and that's it. I just need to enter the amount. I need to uh, select the mode of payment and I need to complete the transaction. So if you are going to do frequent transaction in that case, all you have to do is just simply add a beneficiary account. But uh, as I told you, if you go in bank transfer, tap on pay a new beneficiary and for adding a beneficiary, first of all, you need to uh, just simply enter profile password. Now don't get confused with the uh, internet login password and profile password. Both are different things. So enter profile password and go ahead. Now I have entered profile password. Let's select submit option. Now, as you all can see, we are on the next page. Now, as I told you, if that person's account is in SBI, select SBI. If that person's account is in other bank, select other bank. After selecting other bank, all you have to do is on the next page, you need to enter the beneficiary details. So you can enter name, you can add account number, you can enter IFSC code over here. You can also set a maximum limit. Below maximum limit, you get an option to enter nickname. And once you fill up each and every detail, just simply select uh, next option and uh, follow the steps and the beneficiary account will be added. Now let me show you how you can complete the transaction. Once the beneficiary account is added, just simply select bank transfer over here, go to other accounts and select that beneficiary account and over here automatically the beneficiary details will be shown. Now you need to enter the amount. I am going to transfer 1000 just for testing purpose. Uh, after that select the mode of payment. If you want to do IMPS, NEFT, RDJS, you can select the mode of payment. If you go down, you get an option to select purpose like you can choose why you are sending this amount. So it's a loan repayment or it's a rent or if there is any other thing, you can select other option as well. But I am just selecting transfer to family or friend. Now, you can also schedule this transaction. But if you want to do immediate transaction, all you have to do is just simply tap next option. Just uh, cross verify the details, select this box and select confirm option. Now you will receive an OTP. All you have to do is just simply enter the OTP over here, select next option and the transaction will be completed. So I have entered OTP. Now let's tap on next option. And now you can see transaction is successful. So this is how simple it is to transfer money from YONO SBI application to other bank account. So if you want to do one time transaction, select quick transfer option. But if you're going to do frequent transaction with that account, then you can always add that as a beneficiary and select bank transfer option and you can just complete your transaction. So that's pretty much it for today's video, guys. I hope this video was helpful. If it was, then don't forget to subscribe to my channel and see you all in the next one. Thank you.